Right, so behind me is a US Air Force uh, C-130J, very, uh, very fine looking example with its uh, Normandy invasion stripes on it. Now the C-130 of course is a workhorse for very many air forces around the world. Uh, it's operational in over 70 countries um, and New Zealand is becoming the 21st country uh, to select the C-130J uh, like the example behind me. Now an interesting development in Paris is that Lockheed Martin have started talking about an MPA kit or maritime patrol aircraft kit for the C-130J uh, that would convert this aircraft temporarily into a maritime patrol aircraft. There are all kinds of systems that could come on board with that. Um, innovatively they have a torpedo release system that would operate out of the rear cargo door uh, and that means they don't have to sling the torpedoes on the wings. Torpedoes tend to want to remain at certain temperatures so that causes problems when you're going to put it under a wing. Um, various other uh, devices, uh, maritime patrol aircraft typically are used for surveillance and search and rescue so you'll have uh, an electro optical fit for example. Um, there will be other possibilities in terms of weapons, hellfire weapons. Um, some years ago, Lockheed Martin had proffered the idea of a Sea Hercules. That was more of a permanent fit. It required structural changes to the aircraft. And I think that's perhaps one of the reasons why that idea was never really taken up by end customers. So Lockheed Martin are now saying, well, we can do a kit without major structural modifications that can be taken on and off the aircraft. And they're hoping that that would be much more attractive to prospective users.